Hi, my name is Teresa Koblack, and today we are going to be painting on some Nora paper. So if you haven't used this, uh, it's a great paper that you can paint your inks on. And actually, Nora paper is having a contest right now on Instagram. So if you would like to join in on the fun, go on over to Instagram and go to the Nara Art Paper and you can see the contest. It goes till April 22nd of 2020 and, um, and you'll have a little fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. The paper that I am using is the Nara and it is a six inch uh, round and we are going to be using a variety of inks so I will just let you know what colors I'm using and I'll have them listed in the description bottle below. I did put my inks in but because I didn't start using them right away I am going to go ahead and drop in one or two drops of alcohol and uh, this is the 99% alcohol that I'm using and I also have it in my little dish uh, to clean my brush and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drip some ink on here first uh, for my background I'm going to be using uh, two different colors of the T-Rex uh, this one here is the glacier blue and then this one is the title teal so I'm just gonna go ahead and drip a few drops on and <clears throat> this one came out quite fast so I'm just gonna give it one more drop and I'm gonna put quite a bit of alcohol on there and I'm gonna give this just to move it around and I do want to cover my page. I kind of have an ideal of what I'm going to paint. But you never know. Sometimes you think you're going to paint one thing and it comes out to be another. Had a little fuzzy in there, so I just wiped that off. Just gonna move that around one more time and what I'm going for is the look of the ocean and I want to let all my extra ink drop off I like that now question is, is do I want that to be the top instead? Just pulling a little bit of that ink off, thinning it down just a tiny bit. And I think I'm going to go with this direction here. Just pulling off a little bit more of that ink. All right, I am going to put the caps on my T-Rex. And the ink that I have laid out, I will have in the description of the colors. And these are all Ranger inks. They do play well with the, they do play well with the T-Rex inks. And sometimes you find that your colors want to climb over the edge and get into the other one. So I'm just going to drip a couple of drips in there. All right. So what my goal here is, is to make something... A little different and go 
hopefully you'll be able to guess what this is. So we are underwater. And my goal is to do a bottle, if that's what you guessed. So I just picked up a little bit of the Ranger Glacier. It's a glacier blue. I'm going to use that for the bottle a little bit. I'm going to turn my painting just a little bit. Just it's a little easier for me. Not happy with that brush, so I'm going to grab one of my other ones. It's kind of been one of those days. Brushes don't want to cooperate. Either that or it's my fingers. Okay. Well, do the top of our bottle a little. and bring that down. You want it to look like it's underwater, kind of stuck in the sand. Go back to my fan brush. Those of you that watch my tutorials know that I love my fan brush, so it is one of my favorite brushes to use. Kind of a sandy bottom. And we're going to go ahead and bring that bottle rest of the way down. Maybe like it's going out of the painting here. I just have alcohol on my brush. Just cleaning it up a little. And I think we should put a note inside our bottle. Um, we'll grab some pink. Clean down my brush a little. Just like our note is sitting inside of our bottle. My brushes are not being very cooperative today. So the pink that I used is Fiesta, but because I'm not using it as a bright color, I'm dulling it down a little bit. You can use any pink you would like to use. I just, I wanted a little different color I didn't want to go with the same color as the sand. I wanted it a little different. So we got our little message in our bottle there. And now what I'd like to do is go ahead and put in some accents in the back. And this is Laguna. I'm not going to quite touch to the bottle because it's going to want to spread on its own. I kind of curve it around. And I'm going to 
going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of that limeade. Just like we have some little seaweed in the back there. And go ahead and go with a little bit of this green. And thanks to one of my viewers, it is pronounced mojito. So thank you so much for helping me out with that. I really appreciate it. So we'll just bring these down. Just like it's got the little seaweed going through there and maybe we'll bring some seaweed over this way so again we're still with the mojito and again those are made by ranger i do find it's nice to use different colors and mix and match so i found that these two Inks work well together. And just bring our seaweed down. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down all the way here. Over here we didn't do it because we have our bottle with our little message in it. I'm just going to come back with a little bit of the Laguna and on these lighter ones I'm just going through there just to create some shadowing and I'm not pressing hard I have done the little bottles where I have them along the beach shore. So I thought this would be kind of fun to do. Something a little bit different. And right here where we didn't have it coming all the way down, now that that ink is dry, I'll go ahead and just kind of bring it in. The reason I didn't do it in the beginning is I didn't want it to run into the bottle. Just put some coloring in there. And now what I'd like to do is I want to do some bubbles going up because, um, you know, they have their friendly little competition or a paper does about their bubbles. Well, I thought I'd have fun making some bubbles too with you guys. So this here is a fantastic, um, this has like a felt tip to the end here. So, um, these come in a pack of, um, these come in a pack of six, I believe. And we'll just go ahead and dot those bubbles on. So, I just have some 99% alcohol. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a paintbrush or you can use a Q-tip. I am going to swirl mine a little bigger just because my ink is dry so it's not wanting to give me a good bubble.
we'll make some of those bigger. Just bring them in. So my little bottle has some air bubbles coming out. But I want to take and put myself a cork in my bottle. My bottle. So I just picked up some of the Dijon and I have it over here on the side because I didn't have room for it in my little tray. I don't want it too thick or too thin. And I don't want to touch quite the tip of the bottle just because I don't want my Dijon to go into the bottle. And I am going to go ahead and get rid of that bubble there. And it's going to become part of the cork. And just some 99% alcohol on my brush. Just kind of putting my cork in. I'm going to give it a quick turn just because I want to go really close to the bottle. And that's the nice thing about those inks is they just blend it right in, give it different highlights, make your job a lot easier. So we got our little message in our bottle, but I think I want to make these bubbles bigger. So I'm going to come back in and put quite a bit of alcohol on my, on my tip there. Because I'm working on a paper towel, it's so soft underneath. Put my little paper under there just to help hold it. There we go. Get our get some bigger bubbles going. I don't want to totally lose that blue, so I dipped into a little bit of blue too much. Rub it off. A little alcohol. Sometimes, sometimes a painting doesn't cooperate the way you'd like it to, but it's all right. Just keep trying. I like those bubbles. Those look a little more realistic. I just picked up a little bit of the Rangers Glacier. Drip that in there. Just because I want my bubble to look more realistic, I'm just bringing in some of that alcohol. Again, I'm going to grab on to a little bit of the Glacier by Ranger. Just a little bit of alcohol on my brush. Just 
pulling out a little bit of that ink. I do have different tutorials showing you how to make bubbles. And those are made in a whole different way. So you might want to check out those tutorials. These I'm trying to make more realistic. Like they're coming up from the bottle. Grab down to a little bit more of that glacier. some of that 99% I can come back and put highlights in with either a gel pen or acrylic pen But I would like to have as much done with the alcohol. Because this painting is a little bit smaller, it can be um, just a little bit more challenging. I kind of like that there. So let's go ahead and add, how about if we put a little crab in, maybe a starfish, we'll put a starfish in. So I'm just going to give a couple drips of ink in there. And that is the Valencia, uh, that is made by Ranger. My brushes are just being so bad today. Ever have one of those days brush doesn't want to quite work right? I've been doing a lot of organizing and cleaning. I think I shuffled my brushes. So I'm going to put my starfish in here. And of course I grabbed onto way too much ink. Told you it's been one of those days. So I guess we'll have to make them nice and big. I'm going to grab a little bit of this pink. Just because I like it. Now to your painting, you can do whatever you like. You want them all orange? Make them all orange. Goodness me. We're going to go ahead and erase him. So it's just a Q-tip. Put a little bit of alcohol on it. When it doesn't work, just redo it. Not sure what is going on today. All right, let's try this again. And actually, start here, bring a leg down there. Maybe a leg over here, a leg there. I have some 
ink over here that's a little bit drier. So that is definitely the difference is, you know, even though I've been playing with the inks for a long time, I know better and I do it anyways. It's nice to let your inks sit in your tray a little bit. much better but I am still gonna go ahead and add some of that pink because I really like it it's a good color I used to have a purple starfish in my fish tank. Before I moved, I had, oh, at one time I had five fish tanks, but right before I moved, I had three. And I just love the saltwater fish. So one of the things I had was a, was actually more burgundy starfish. And just put his little arm like he's crawling up, scooching along. I even had a beautiful blue starfish. So I'm going to go in and grab some of that Dijon. And I just want to grab some of that to add in a little bit of shadowing. Just a little bit of 99, just so I can blend it in a tiny bit. And just a tiny bit of that Dijon. Just a tiny bit. Just like he's kind of moving through the sand. And I would like to highlight my bubbles now that they're dried down a little. This is just a, a gel pen that I'm using. I like the Jelly Roll. Uh, that's the brand that I prefer. I'm just going to come in and add a little highlights. Just a little, a little bit of white. I'm not putting in a lot. Also rub off on a scrap piece of paper if you need to. Just added a tiny bit of highlights. All right. Kind of liking that. What do you think? It was a rough start in the beginning there. Just kind of blending this a little bit. All I have is alcohol on my brush. So what I'm doing is I, when I jump to another area, I'm giving this a little bit of time to dry down and Settle where it's going to be. But I kind of like that. What do you think? Maybe add a little more green. Let's see here. I cleaned down my art table the other day and have everything shuffled. 
So this is a little bit of that mojito, and this is uh, the ink by Ranger. And I'm just going to bring in just a more, little more of that seaweed coming up. The grass that grows at the bottom of the ocean. Come in and accent this one a little bit. A little bit of that alcohol. So if we want to put a fish in, we could do that. But I would think, let's just add a, but I would think, let's just add a few more highlights on our bottle there. Just like it's picking up some of that light that's coming down from above. Just a fun little painting. You can do this. Just add a little accents on that cork, and that's that Dijon I picked up. Come in and grab a little bit more of that green. That's the mojito. Mojito. I like that name. Just adding some highlights. Let the inks work for you. And sometimes I find we mess with it too much. Don't let it, you know, you got you to gotta let it have some time to do what it wants to do. And within reason, you don't want to get carried away, but you definitely want the inks to work for you. So we get a little message in a bottle. We get our little bubbles. I like it. A little bit fun. So it's up to you if you want to add yourself maybe a seahorse or a little fish. You could even put another starfish. It's totally up to you. But I might add in some more details afterwards. I'll have to think about it for a minute. Sometimes it's good to walk away and look in a minute or two. But if, uh, if this was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you'd like to see me make more tutorials. And that's all I need from you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And um, again, I hope you have a great rest of your day. My name is Teresa Kovlak. You can find me on Instagram and happy painting.